warm welcome to the uh, Anybus Wireless Bolt LTE release webinar. Uh, my name is Thomas Carlson. I'll try to be your host here in Halmstad, Sweden. We have uh, Martin Faltman with us from the Anybus team, uh, product manager for the Anybus Wireless Bolt. Welcome, Martin. Thank you, Thomas. And we also have the Anybus technical team behind the cameras here today taking any questions you may have. So feel free to use the chat function and we'll try to answer uh, questions as we go along. Uh, Okay, Martin, so the um, Anybus Wireless Bolt has been on the market for, for quite some time now. It's been a huge success factor for, for, for HMS. Um, from your point of view, what is it that customers say that they like with the existing versions we have for, for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth? Yeah, well, f to say it short, it's the, the form factor and, of course, the built-in functionality. But the form factor is really unique. We have the, the top, which is goes outside of the machine. We have the bottom side that goes inside and a 50 millimeter through hole mount and uh, the compact form factor, basically. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, and, and so now we're releasing a, a new version for, for uh, cellular 4G uh, LTE. Yeah. Well, maybe I can tell you a little bit about the history behind it, and then we come to, to why we made this new product. So it's about uh, five years ago now, uh, we started talking with uh, a big OEM of ours, a big OEM in the automation industry, and they said, we, we need a simple device that simply plugs into the machine and gives it access to internet, for example, or to the Wi-Fi or to the local, uh, to a Bluetooth network. Uh, and that's when we created the Bolt with an Ethernet port on one side and uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on the other side to put on machines inside uh, buildings, in facilities, wherever. Mm -hmm. And we've been selling tens of thousands of these now over the past uh, five years uh, using the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi radio technology. Mm -hmm. And now uh, we realize that we need something that connects automation equipment also out in the field. So if you go to rural areas like out in the city or uh, in, in the forest, in pump stations and things like this. So the obvious solution then would be to use cellular technologies like LTE, 4G or 3G to connect to the internet. And uh, we thought, well, why don't we use the same successful form factor? So we tried and we managed to put a complete LTE modem inside the same housing. Right. And, and looking at the housing, this is quite a unique product. It doesn't look like anything else on the market. Can you talk a little bit about why it looks uh, the way it does? Yeah, so what was requested was basically to have an outside that is robust and sturdy and melts in well with the machine or, or uh, doesn't uh, be too fragile for mechanical damage and so on. Uh, and what we wanted or what customers wanted is to have uh, electronics, antenna and connection to the machine all in one unit. So that's why we have, uh, we have Ethernet with power over Ethernet, uh, we have antennas and electronics and modem functions inside it. Right. Uh, yeah, so, so speaking about that and how it actually connects uh, to, to, the, uh, to the machine itself, we talked about the, the cellular connection, for, of course, on the outside, but on the inside, how, how do you actually connect it? You talked about the RG45 connector. Right, so the bottom side here has a standard patch cable RJ45 connector. And one way to do it is just to connect the RJ45 connector between a switch or a PLC with a cable to, to the port here. Uh, if you want to place this somewhere else to, let's say, to increase the radio performance, uh, specifically for uh, cellular networks, it might be good not to have it down deep in a cellar, for example. Uh, traditionally, you would add a long antenna cable and, for example, already a 10 meter uh, traditional coaxial antenna cable will make a, a signal loss that is uh, significant. Mm -hmm. But uh, using power over Ethernet, we can get both communication and data uh, or, or power supply and data uh, through the same cable. And the uh, Ethernet standard says maximum 100 meters. That means that it's possible to place a cellular uh, bolt uh, exactly where the radio reception is good for cellular networks and then have the equipment somewhere inside a building or down deep uh, in a, in a uh, pump house under right. the earth, for example. Right. Um, so, so during the, the final development of the Bolt LT, it was sent to a couple of uh, example customers to, to try it out. And we have uh, one example with us here today uh, called DVI. Could you talk a little bit about them first? Yeah. 
Yeah, already last year we sent a couple of uh, test uh, units to uh, DVI Innovation in, in Canada and they are very innovative and have some interesting applications. And they use it specifically for two different applications that both of them use MQTT data. Mm -hmm. So they have a simple PLC with an Ethernet port that can uh, talk MQTT and uh, Bolt LTE provides internet connectivity to send this to a MQTT uh, broker uh, and a dashboard service that's available on the internet okay. for data logging and uh, visualization of the data. Right. Let's listen to, to what the DBI has to say. Hi, my name is Simon. I'm the Canadian sales manager for HMS. In the process of developing the LTE Bolt, DVI innovation was identified by HMS as a testing partner in Canada because of the two unique applications that David had. The first application is a smart pump system for the city of Calgary. The city needs to repair and stabilize the riverbank, so a system consisting of a submersible pump that pumps up water from the river to water the plants on the shore. The pump control unit consists of a BNR microcontroller and a number of sensors. The Volt LTE has been integrated in the control cabinet to provide connection to the cloud over a MQTT connection. The system sends data to a cloud dashboard, which displays pump information to the user. The second system is a gas burning system using a rocket engine. This is pretty impressive. Basically, the system is for the oil and gas industry, but can be applied to other markets. When drilling in the ground, armful gases can leak. Therefore, the system will collect the gases and burn them at really high temperature using a rocket engine. The system is structured in the same way as the irrigation system that I've talked about. So the Bolt LT provides the cellular connection to the cloud as well as GPS positioning. So David at DVI Innovation loved the fact that it took him less than five minutes to set up the LTE Bolt and that the user interface is really simple to use. Also, the GPS on the LTE Bolt provides a fantastic accuracy. It was within two meters of the corner of his office where the unit was installed. So pretty impressive for a all-in-one uh, unit. The form factor, which is kind of unique to the bolt, is also key for David since it's simple to install and to mount on a cabinet. So this is a real great unit for um, David at DVI uh, Innovation. Okay, thanks very much for that. Um, so Martin, if, if we look inside the product and get a little bit more, more technical, what are the news uh, to the new wireless bolt uh, LTE on the inside? All right. So obviously we had to change the electronics completely to make it capable of uh, cellular data. Uh, so what we did is uh, we included a modem for uh, LTE CAT4. Um, and we, LTE CAT4 means also that it's, it's a prerequisite to have uh, double antennas. So we have mm -hmm. one horizontal antenna and one vertical antenna. That means we take uh, radio signals in both uh, polarizations mm -hmm. and that's very good because then we can take reflections and, and so on and make benefit of that uh, in in both the vertical and horizontal right. plane so it doesn't matter how much you, you mount it really exactly can you can mount it this way or this way uh, the yeah. only thing that matters for a cellular connection is that you don't confine the product or, or the antenna in kind of a metal housing or in a concrete building without windows and things like that right. all right uh, yeah, what else is new? <laughs> so yeah, uh, we have the 100 megabit Ethernet port that is uh, capable of uh, PoE, so power over Ethernet. That means you can actually supply the unit with only one cable and uh, communication and power in same cable. Mm -hmm. But there are also separate power terminals uh, for 11 to uh, 33 volt DC uh, with earth connection and so on. Right. And um, then it's a completely new electronic platform with a high performance uh, CPU and a new operating system and uh, it's uh, high performing. Yeah. There, of... there is a built-in firewall for example for uh, data intrusion so that will block all incoming traffic so it's necessary for the application to reach out and open the link from the inside. Right. 
And we also have, we have a stormtrooper and we have a Darth Vader. <laughs> Talk a little bit about the Yeah, the why do we have two colors, different yeah. colors? That uh, is a good question. And the reason is obviously not for Darth Vader and stormtroopers, <laughs> but uh, it's uh, temperature, so IR temperature range. So when you put the bolt in direct sunlight, the IR temperature rise is significant if it is black. Right. There is actually a 30% difference in heat rise if you compare the black to the white one. And if you calculate the component lifetime using MTBF values for electronic components, then the white one will live 70% longer oh. compared to the black one in direct sunlight. Okay. Yeah. So Colors. that's important. So Colors matter, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you want to put this in direct sunlight, use the white one. Yeah. Right, good tip. Yeah. Um, <laughs> If we talk about the, the cellular connection, the, the wireless Bolt LTE comes with a SIM card. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, we include a SIM card in the box together with the Bolt. So every uh, product that we ship comes with a SIM card in, in the box. And uh, the card uh, can be activated by the user if desired. So it's mm -hmm. uh, optional. Uh, if you don't want it, throw it away. Uh, but it's an opportunity and it's actually a very good roaming package included. Uh, it's divided in three uh, zones over the world and I would say price-wise zone number one and two they are really competitive also looking at uh, local SIM card offers if you have a local operator in, in a country. Uh, zone three is price-wise a little bit uh, higher probably than uh, local offers but still attractive for, for example, a machine manufacturer that wants to ship the unit worldwide with only one SIM solution. Mm -hmm. So that's a very attractive thing. Uh, and it's very easy to use. Uh, if, if the user wants to uh, activate the SIM card, it's simply to go into the web portal of uh, Netmore, our mm -hmm. cooperation partner in this case, uh, and activate the card using a standard credit card. Right. And then it's possible to select the data plans that fits your needs. So we have one plan that is uh, 500 megabytes per month uh, in, in a 12 month period with a fixed price. That's uh, 30 euros. Uh, second alternative would be two gigabytes per month. Also 12 months uh, mm -hmm. with a total price of 120 euros. Uh, and then it's possible to top up if it's needed uh, whenever. And uh, as I said, if it's not desired, any standard uh, nano SIM card will fit in the product. Right, but a couple of different versions for different data amounts uh, out of the box. Yeah. Uh, all right, so, so finishing up here, you've been working with uh, with the Enbus wireless offering for, for quite some time now. W what are you most excited about? What, what do you think is, is the coolest thing about the Enbus wireless Bolt LT? Actually, it's the versatility of the product. I mean. For once, the, the form factor, we already talked about the form factor, which is really unique. Uh, but it's also to see exactly where it can be used. I mean, we already now see that, for example, DVI Innovation, they use it for a, a rocket motor exhaust analyze equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, they use it for pump, for pump control of irrigation systems. Uh, we have it uh, for control of uh, electrical uh, uh, marine engines. Mm -hmm. uh, it's... Uh, uh, since we are transparent, uh, looking uh, at the communication, we are completely transparent uh, on TCP and UDP level. Uh, that means um, basically anything with an Ethernet port and uh, uh, protocols based on these standards can use the Bolt to communicate to the Internet or to your local network. Right. Yeah, so a lot of interesting and, uh, and fun applications available with the Enbus Wireless Bolt. Martin, thanks very much for being with us today. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, thanks very much for listening. Uh, if you want to know more, uh, please visit our website, anybus.com, where you can find more information about the Anybus Wireless Bolt LTE. Uh, our technicians will still be around here at, in the webinar for a couple of more minutes to answer any questions you may have, so feel free to use the chat function for a couple of more minutes. Otherwise, thank you very much for listening.